It is. Is it vandalism, a random attack, or a personal vendetta? Oakland Councilwoman Libby Schaff says drawing swastikas on her picture was hurtful, but others say it's much worse. It's a hate crime. NBC Barry's Jody Hernandez is live in Oakland with the details for us. Jody. Folks who live in this family-friendly neighborhood are shocked and angry. Now, these are the posters that were plastered up and down the streets here. Uh, the real disturbing part, the swastika, as you can see, has been scraped up. But folks here are outraged that somebody actually printed a symbol of hate on their councilwoman's face. It's very hurtful, as especially as a person of Jewish heritage, to see your face with a swastika on your forehead. That's the reaction of Oakland City Council member and mayoral hopeful Libby Schaff to her neighborhood being plastered with flyers that show her with a swastika on her face. I know that there's a large community of people that really were hurt having to see that. The flyers criticize Schaff's stance on the city's plans to build a domain awareness center a place police can monitor street cameras, shot spotter sensors, and other tools. But Schaff says she's actually expressed concern about the center and doesn't believe that's what the flyers are really about. The attack does feel personal because the issue is one that um, they actually misrepresented my position on it. People who live near Montclair Village say they're disgusted by the images that they say have no place in a family-friendly neighborhood. It's very hard for me to put in words how hateful and how horrible that is. And I hope they find out who did it. What's one of the worst things you can do? The swastika. It's, I think, the worst symbol we have in the world. Schaff supporters spent the afternoon scraping off the flyers. Schaff says it's not up to her to say whether the display is a hate crime, but she believes police shouldn't spend too much time trying to figure it out. I did leave a message for the captain that I hope they do not dedicate resources to this um, because I know that they have uh, higher priorities right now. But she says there's clearly a need for more tolerance in Oakland, a message she hopes to relay to her two small children when she explains what's happened to them tonight. We will certainly put it into the light of Martin Luther King Day that we still have a lot of work to do, even in a place like Oakland, California. And we're back here live where you're looking at the remnants of one of those flyers. These flyers are actually glued onto just about every lamppost on this street. So a lot of flyers. Now, police investigation is underway. It is unclear tonight, however, if Oakland police are treating this as a possible hate crime. Reporting live in Oakland, I'm Jody Hernandez, NBC Bay Area News.